Hi everyone, welcome back to topic one, introduction to artificial intelligence and machine learning. In the previous session, we give an overview and introduction on artificial intelligence. And in this session, we are going to focus on machine learning. In the real world, we are surrounded by humans who can learn everything from their experiences with their learning capabilities. And we have computers or machines which work on our instructions. But can a machine also learn from experiences or past data like a human does? So here comes the role of machine learning. Machine learning in artificial intelligence is a discipline concerned with the implementation of computer software that can learn autonomously. Machine learning is set as a subset of artificial intelligence that is mainly concerned with the development of algorithms, which allow a computer to learn from the data and past experiences on their own. The term machine learning was first introduced by a computer scientist in 1959 and defined it in a summarized way as machine learning enables a machine to automatically learn from data, improve performance from experiences, and predict things without being explicitly programmed. With the help of historical data, machine learning algorithms build a mathematical model that helps in making predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning brings computer science and statistics together for creating predictive models. Machine learning constructs or uses the algorithms that learn from historical data. The more we will provide the information, the higher will be the performance. If we take a look at the relationship between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, AI is always the broadest concept. Machine learning is a subset of AI, and its concept was then developed back into 1980s. And deep learning is on the rise in the last 10 years, thanks to the rapid development of computer hardware. The need for machine learning is increasing day by day. The reason behind the need for machine learning is that it is capable of doing tasks that are too complex for a person to implement directly. As a human, we have some limitations as we cannot access the huge amount of data manually. So for this, we need some computer systems, and here comes the machine learning to make things easier for us. If I'm going to explain machine learning in layman's term, we should use a more concrete example. Let's think of machine learning as paper toss game. In order to throw the paper into the dustbin, we can do it in a non-machine learning way or a machine learning way. In a non-machine learning way, we are going to apply some predefined formula, taking into consideration of the size of the paper ball and dustbin, the distance in between, the throwing angles, then we can calculate using the formula. So each time we can throw the paper accurately into the dustbin. However, if there is new conditions or external factors involved, such as wind, we have to reprogram everything. That means the formula has to be recalculated. How about we do it in a machine learning way? It is not that difficult, in fact, we just have to do many rounds of try and errors, and we call them experiments. We try to throw the paper from different distance and different angles. And of course, some of the trial will be successful and others will fail. Here, machine learning is trying to identify the relationship from the repeated success or failures. Therefore, in the future, we don't have to reprogram for new conditions or external factors. We just need more data to train the machine learning model. Another more technical definition of machine learning is, a computer program is set to learn from experience E 
with respect to some class of task T and performance measure P. If its performance at task in T as measured by P improve with experience E. This basically means in machine learning for any task, a machine improve its performance with its experiences. How are we going to map the task, experience, and performance to the paper toss example? For task T, it actually refers to toss the paper into the dustbin. And for experience E, that means our machine learning model tries 1,000 times to toss the paper. And some of these trials will success and some of them will fail. And performance P is to measure the performance. If our machine succeeds 700 times and fail 300 times, we can calculate that the accuracy of the machine model is 70%. And that is our performance. Every coin has two faces. Each face has its own properties and features. It's time to uncover the faces of machine learning. A very powerful tool that holds the potential to revolutionize the way things work. First and most importantly, machine learning can reveal large volumes of data and discover specific trends and patterns that would not be apparent to humans. For instance, for an e-commerce website like Amazon, it serves to understand the browsing behaviors and purchasing histories of its users to help cater to the right products, deals, and reminders relevant to them. It uses the result to reveal relevant advertisement to these people. With machine learning, you don't need to babysit your project every step of the way. Since it means giving machines the ability to learn, it lets them make predictions and also improve the algorithm on their own. A common example of this is antivirus softwares. They learn to filter new threats as they are recognized. Machine learning is also good at recognizing spam. Lastly, as machine learning algorithms gain experience, they keep improving in accuracy and efficiency. This lets them make better decisions. Say you need to make a weather forecast model. As the amount of data you have keeps growing, your algorithm learns to make more accurate predictions faster. With all those advantages to its powerfulness and popularities, machine learning isn't perfect. The following factors serve to limit it. Firstly, machine learning requires massive data set to train on, and this should be inclusive and unbiased and of good qualities. There can be some times where they must wait for new data to be generated. Secondly, machine learning needs enough time to let the algorithm learn and develop enough to fulfill their purpose with a considerable amount of accuracy and relevancy. It also needs massive resource to function. This can mean additional requirements of computer power for you. Another major challenge is the ability to accurately interpret results generated by the algorithms. You must also carefully choose the algorithm for your purpose. As a result, we have studied advantages and disadvantages of machine learning. Machine learning can be incredibly powerful when used in the right ways and in the right places, where massive training data sets are available. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are the part of computer science that are correlated with each other. These two technologies are the most trending technologies which are used for creating intelligent system. Although these are two related technologies and sometimes people use them as a synonym for each other, but still both are the two different terms in various cases. On a broader level, we can differentiate both artificial intelligence and machine learning as machine learning is the bigger concept to create intelligent machines that can simulate human thinking capabilities and behavior. Where is machine learning is an application or subset of artificial intelligence that allows machine to learn from data, 
without being programmed explicitly. Finally, for artificial intelligence, the aim is to build machines which are capable of thinking like humans. And the aim for machine learning is to make machines learn through data so that they can solve data-driven problems.